Bud Not Buddy by Christopher Paul Curtis. Chapter 12. After breakfast, me and Mr. Lewis said goodbye to the sleeps and got back into the car. I leaned over the front seat to put my suitcase in the back. Mr. Lewis, someone stole all the blood last night. He said, I'll say one thing for you, bud. When you go to sleep, you go way, way to sleep. You don't remember anything about last night after we got to Flint. I said, I don't think so, sir. After you so rudely fell asleep on me, we dropped the blood off at Hurley Hospital. Then I gassed up. Then I got in touch with your daddy to let him know you were all right. Uh-oh. What did he say? I didn't call him. I sent a telegram to the log cabin. Log cabin. He still owns that club, doesn't he? Yes, sir. Good. Lefty Lewis leaned over and reached in the glove box of the car. He pulled out a flimsy piece of paper and handed it to me. Across the top of the paper, it said in big letters, Western Union. Underneath it, it said, H-E-C, stop. Bud, okay, and Flint, stop. At 4309 North Street, stop. Return, 8 p.m. Wednesday, stop. Lefty, stop. Man, I'll bet Herman E. Calloway was just as confused by this message as I was. I said, what does this mean, sir? Lefty said, when you send a telegram, the more letters you use, the more money you have to pay. So you try to keep your messages as short as you can. Here, let me see it. I handed him the paper. He said, okay, H-E-C, that stands for your dad, Herman E. Calloway. But okay in Flint. Then let that lets him know how far you got and that you're safe. And you got... You did get pretty far, but maybe he won't be too hard on you when he sees how resourceful you were at running away. I know I'd been pr been darn proud of one of my kids if they'd gotten that far, but I'd offer to use them, offer them money to run, and they'd never take it. At 4309 North Street, that's my daughter's address, and return 8 p.m. lets him know I'm bringing you home by 8 tonight. I said, what are all those stops, sir? He said, that's the telegram office's way of saying period. It just means that the sentence is over. Lefty Lewis spent one of the spent most of the day doing errands all around Flint. He made me promise to wait in the car for him. I was good and happy when he said, that's it, bud. Time to head home. We drove past that sign that said, welcome to Flint on one side when he looked up and said, uh-oh.